Here with the Magic was recorded before a live virtual studio audience. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Here with the Magic. I'm Jason Kinnap. The merriest time of year is officially upon us, and this week's show is sure to bring the comfort and the joy, starting with a wandering around Disney's Hollywood Studios, which has been transformed into a Christmas wonderland. Next, we're off to Epcot, where the incredible Carol Stein is performing her farewell show at the Rosencrown Pub in the United Kingdom Pavilion. Carol's performances have become a time-honored favorite among Disney fanatics and locals. And she's been working her magic there for more than 30 years, helping to ensure that the Rosencrown is full of revelry and celebration. And today, we celebrate her. Our community connection takes us to northwest Montana, where the Flathead Lake perfectly reflects the snow-capped peaks of the rugged Mission Mountain Range, courtesy of P.J. Thomas. And back in Walt Disney World, nice guy Zach Brown and I experience a different sort of Christmas spirits, along with some indulgent bites at the Territory Lounge in Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And look, you're not going to want to miss seeing what we got Zach to eat for our adventures in food. Then we'll close out the show with a moment of calm from one of the most often overlooked quiet spaces in Walt Disney World, the Swan Hotel. But first... It's time to head to Disney's Hollywood Studios. The magic begins on Hollywood Boulevard, where the big band orchestrations of our favorite swinging holiday songs are sure to put us in a festive mood. Flashy and cheerful and dressed in Hollywood style, silver bells and candy canes and plenty of dazzling lights. What better way to begin than with a holiday tour of Tinseltown?
gotta get in line. Thank you. 
For more than three decades, Carol Stein has been the very heart and soul of the Rosencrown Pub in Epcot's UK Pavilion. Her performances have brought light, laughter, and a joyous escape to countless guests from all over the world. While Carol is now in what she refers to as semi-retirement, before she took her final bow at the Rosencrown, we had the distinct privilege to capture some of her final performances, which were just as special and absolutely unforgettable as Carol herself. Black Pearl. And the composer of the music for the movies? 
you think it was Hans Zimmer. He was supposed to do it, but he couldn't. And it became Klaus Gundelt. <laughs> Hans Zimmer had a hand in it, but it was Klaus Gundelt who wrote this. This is Paris in the Caribbean.
way too much fun. Oh my gosh. Well, this next song I was asked to do, Zach asked, you asked, you asked for it, right? This is a song I composed, and I was going to do it as my very last song, but he's here now, so can he ask for it? And it's a song called Walt Disney World. So I wrote this because I grew up here in Florida, and uh, some of my junior high and high school friends are here. We all grew up here. Yay! Yay! Yay. 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 And many of us, now Mary Ann started working back when we were in high school and at Disney, and many of us grew up with Disney. My father built homes for people that built Disney. So it's been a very really big part of my life. And then when I ended up coming home from Europe and Asia and then had the opportunity to start working here in 1990, when I was 10, <laughs> in Disney years. So I've been very fortunate. I, uh, I was able to work at the Comedy Warehouse with some of the most amazingly talented improv artist actors we've ever met. And ended up here at the Rose and Crown and, and just had, had so many wonderful opportunities. I'm trying to think of that very first time that you came to Walt Disney World. The first time you ever went to Magic Kingdom. Think of that time. Think of what went in your mind, the, the creativity, and, the, and that's what this song is. Upon the castle, spires reaching everywhere, so high, colors swirling all around this pixie dust up in the sky. All my restless inhibitions seem to simply disappear, looking round in total wonder, now believing I am here. World, where hopes and dreams come true. Walt Disney World, there's fantasy for me and you. Ever since I was a child, I'd wish upon that star. Walt Disney World, here you are. Walking down on the street, music everywhere, a people laughing, photographing, there is magic in the air, ready for adventure, listening to that big brass band, carousels and teacup rides, happiness in every land. Walt Disney World, where hopes and dreams come true. Walt Disney World, there's fantasy for me and you. Ever since I was a child, I'd wish upon that star. Walt Disney World, here you are. There's a jungle expedition, and you can hear a lion roar. See a yeti or a tiger, on a banshee you can soar. Sail away to frozen lands, talk with a turtle in the sea. Meet a pirate or a princess, dreams become reality. Walt Disney World, where hopes and dreams come true. Walt Disney World. For me and you, ever since I was a child, I've wished upon that star. Walt Disney World, here you are.
Now it's time for our community connection. Each week we feature a contribution from a member of our Here with the Magic community. Today, PJ Thomas shares a moment with us from Flathead Lake near Polson, Montana. As rich in Native American history as it is in awe-inspiring vistas, this region is known for its abundance of natural wildlife and unspoiled landscapes. Thank you, PJ, for sharing that with us. Do you have a moment you'd like to share with the community? To learn how your video could be featured here on the show, send an email to Jason, that's me, at herewiththemagic.com. Remember, it need not be cinematic or from someplace exotic. We also love highlighting quiet moments of joy from close to home or even our own backyard. We'll take care of the editing. Historically, Territory Lounge and Disney's Wilderness Lodge has ranked among my very favorite Disney lounges. However, when the lounge reopened after the 2020 pandemic closing, the menu had changed pretty dramatically, and not for the better. And so the space fell off my list of must-try lounges. But then there was a development. Two of my very favorite cast members transferred from Dia Lounge to Territory Lounge. The menu changed. And shortly thereafter, Zach started lobbying me to try it again. And try it again, I did. And that's where we're headed for this week's Adventures in Food. Welcome to Territory Lounge in the Wilderness Lodge. It's important to add the context. The space is really cool. It's got this log cabin feel, Wilderness Lodge obviously feel to it. But there's this, there's this Lewis and Clark expedition map mm-hmm. on the ceiling that, unless you're looking up or have just just drank enough to be on the floor looking up, <laughs> you're not going to see it. You have to you have to make sure you actually look up. <laughs> True. 
But another fun thing to do is to, is to quote unquote sneak in here during the day when they're closed. It's not like you're really sneaking in. But to, to spend your time walking around, looking at the art, reading the little plaques, yeah. looking at the, at the, um, the shadow boxes. Yeah, but they're, they're illuminated, so the non shadow boxes, the ironic shadow boxes. Yeah. Um, to see all the different things that are in there. This is one of my favorite lounges historically. Fell a little out of favor for me after the after the reopenings after the pandemic. Okay. Because they changed the menu. The food menu changed a lot, and it was a great menu before, and then nah, nah, it was not so good. But but this guy who's here all the time apparently says that the menu has gotten much better. It's all new. So here we are in search of good food, good drinks, good friends. Our favorite, can we say this? I think we can. One of our favorite cast members who used to work at Dial, actually two of our favorite cast yep. members who used to work at, at Dial Lounge at uh, Grand Casino Tower came here to Territory Lounge and that is Susan and Mike, Mike the bartender. And fantastic so people, good. amazing at what they do. Um, and maybe you'll get a chance to see them. Yeah, this evening. Uh, we we jumped the gun a little bit, sorry, um, and ordered a couple of drinks. Mm -hmm. Why don't you explain, nice guy Zach Brown, why don't you explain what you have going here? So this is a National 95, which is basically a French 75, but with a woodsy feel. It is Whistle Pig 10 Year Straight Rye Whiskey, Argyle Sparkling Brute, and Simple Syrup. There's a lemon garnish, and it's very bright. My drink is something I would never order, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, honestly. Um, I got the Northwoods, which is bullet rye whiskey, house-made rosemary syrup, citrus ju juices, citrus juices, say that, and maple. Mm. All I can really taste is the citrus juices. So, okay, so I'm gonna, actually, I think I need to use the little uh, the rosemary to stir this up. <laughs> I don't think that that's what that's for, but I, sure I like that we're being adapted. It's woodsy. It's woodsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I smell the rosemary. Okay, it's better now. It's, it needed to be stirred. Really? Okay. It needed to be stirred, yeah. So this is good. It's just, this is sweet and it's citrusy, which is just not, Jason, you'll never hear me described as being sweet and citrusy. So we have, on the shareable bites, we have Territory Popcorn Sampler, Artisanal Cheese and Charcuterie, Loaded Baked Potato Flatbread, Salmon Run, Bacon on a Wire, and Bone and Brie. Oh. oh we have the Bacon on a Wire. Yes, yeah. please. Awesome. Oh my god. There's the oh. cherry bacon. You get a little rosemary, smoked rosemary. Oh my um, that's goodness. That's a bourbon maple drizzle hiding behind that rosemary. Yes, rosary. yes, you're just Three double eggs. Time. The first one's going to be your candied salmon. Oh. You're going to have the beef jerky in the middle. It does have a little, little kick to it. Okay. And then yes. um, fried shrimp. And you then we have our take salmon flatbread. Sorry. That's okay. No, it's <laughs> good. You warned us. You did warn us. That's the grab wax. Kind of like oh, yes, 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 yes. And then... Pastrami um, salmon? That's what our chef calls it. <laughs> and then you have the smoked salmon throughout that. And uh, yeah, it's really good. It's I'm really loving good. this. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. All you right. We'll do. Thank we'll you. do. Oh my Good goodness. Another table. Now, did she mention if this was a special kind of bacon? It's it's probably a candied bacon, I imagine, right? Oh, my hands are gonna be so sticky now. Like. That's Come on, man. That's good, baby. My hands are stupid sticky. Oh. Oh. That's delicious. That's really good. All right. Mm -hmm. How are we going to deal with this egg situation? Three, um, with three eggs, we have to decide. I think you're going to have to say, we're going to have to do rock, paper, scissors or something, or? Okay. Which one do you want the most? All right, I'm going to take the salmon. That was like the longest choice ever. I think this one that actually time. scares me a little bit, so I'm glad you went with that oh, one. Why do you say that then? Well, how's the flavor? Is it a very prominent salmon flavor? Mm hmm. Okay. Not in a bad way. And I'm regretting having eaten the, the whole egg with the salmon with it. Like, I should have like, done a little without it. I think that's what we'll do with the shrimp. It's like, we'll have, have to have the, have the topping on its own. Yeah. 
And how about you with the beef jerky? Is that oh, she um she said that this was spicy. Yeah, is it not? She didn't lie. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> is it good spicy or is it painful spicy? Um, I'll tell you in a second. Oh no, is it I, slow burn? I feel warmth like on my face. Oh, oh, a good spicy. Okay. As a person that grew up on the Gulf Coast, I've never seen anybody cut a shrimp in half. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate <laughs> measures. All right, here, this is a little piece of shrimp for you. Oh, yeah. th thank you. And I have a little piece of shrimp. We're going to eat it without the egg. All right. Oh. Oh, oh. That's fried shrimp. Not bad. Not bad. Were we supposed to use that for something? Yeah, for the bacon. Oh. I don't know what, remember what it was? Is it bourbon? Probably. Oh, it's syrupy. Oh. More sweet. Is it maple? Like maple with the bacon? Uh-huh. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah? I kind of wish I had drizzled a little in the egg. Ooh, right? Let me just drizzle it all over the pizza. Here. So, so this is the uh, Gravlax, right? Is the who now? The Gravlax. We want to roll it. We kind of like you want to like there. It's like rolling out a red carpet. See, that's that's pretty. Yeah. I don't know if you could say that about like a slice of fish, but <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's chilled. It's, and it's smoked, right? It's really good. That's really good. I almost, I almost, yeah, I did that. I almost reached for this. Mm. Yeah? You weren't scared of it? No. I love salmon. <laughs> this is so big. We're going to have to get boxes. Like, there's no way. If we're going to eat more food, there's no way we Look can. Look at the size of that slice. What am I doing with this? Like, I'm going to fold it? Yep, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little sandwich. Why are you doing? Oh, I was not. I, this piece is so. I was not expecting truffle. I'm not a truffle person. Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, that was. That was an unfortunate surprise. That was in the onions. Like, so do you like truffle? No. Oh, I, I thought it was just me. I don't dislike it. I just don't need it. The base is like a chive, cream cheese spread. Mm hmm This is basically bagel and lox as a flatbread. Mm-hmm. So if that's your thing, this is for you. And little bits of dill. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh, I'm gonna try there. Are you gonna do what I'm doing? No, but that's brilliant. Yeah. Why did I do that? I don't know. I just popped an onion, okay. Control group. Okay, that's yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that's so much better than what I was gonna do. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I was gonna dip this in the, the syrup. But now I feel silly. Yeah, this is this is the way to go. Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah. So you're saying the bone and brie scares you? There's bone in the name? And yeah. this, okay. There's That's nothing where bone marrow comes from. There's nothing more scary than the unknown. And I've never had it. This never could, had a bone? This could be my new favorite food. But at face value, it scares me. But I'm willing to try it. And we'll see. See where we, uh, where we stand, where we sit, how we're feeling on the okay. other side. Okay. Other than the, possibly the Dahlia Lounge, at Grand Casino Tower. This lounge, maybe even more than the Thai lounge, this lounge actually ties in the theme of the resort better than any other lounge on property. I would wholeheartedly agree. I would place this at the very top of the list. I mean, I mean, Dai is there, because Dai is the main character from Grand Destino, from, from Destino, but like, yeah, they're close. I will be getting you. 
another jar of the jam. Okay. That one there's that's a cranberry. And then this is the brie with the honeycomb in there and the rosemary, which oh, is really yeah. good. You got your, your um, bone marrow, some yeah. blackberries, some toasted bread. So you enjoy Awesome, oh, wow. thank the you. Smell the rosemary you when smell you it? lifted the lid. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird? It smells like a spa. I feel spa? like I'm at, yeah, it smells like, I think it's the rosemary and the others, it's, I don't know. It's like herbal, uh, oh, herbal so the breeze in there with the rosemary and, and this little like cast iron crock, this is amazing. Okay, and we have the bone marrow that you need to, you're gonna try. There's a lot going on. You know what we need though, we don't have enough, I guess we're gonna use spoons for the spoons. marrow. Spoons, awesome. Now there will be another jam. Jam that's because coming. Because the first jam. Didn't quite make it out. This is so a, one's supposed to be the onion jam, the Mary and Mary onion jam, okay. and then one's supposed to be the cranberry. Okay. Oh. Yes. Awesome. So there's that's the different Mary and Berry onion jam. Yeah. He, he was a terrible mayor, but as a jam, pretty good. <laughs> all right. You want to make fix you? Oh. I'm going to fix you a little bit. For this. That. Okay. Just, just you're gonna. Have I'm to, trusting you. I'm trusting you. It's is. Do I eat it by itself? Control. No, 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 no. No. There's no need to do that. I mean, unless you want to. No. I would actually do a I mean, little... Do you, like, do you like brie? I do. I love brie. So I'm I would, braving a new frontier. So I do a little brie on there, too. Where's your knife? Let me do a little brie on here. You want a little jam? or you just I, Yes, he does. He says yes. So like a little jam drizzle. There you go. There's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. Folks, never had this before Good in luck. my life. One bite? Just the whole thing? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Sure. I'm gonna do. Put a little bone marrow on here. Not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I don't know. I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing you just did. So we have a. That. Um, it tastes like a really nice. Um, like like a roast. And you know you kind of when you put like roast in the crock pot, and you get kind of mm. that car the caramelized from like the fat maybe on the side. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's just that very rich, almost oaky, dare I use that, um, descriptive, kind of oaky. Mm -hmm. Nice. See? Try new things. The bone marrow is very rich. Mm -hmm. um, it's not really, it's not like it's, I don't crave it. It's not like, like oh, I gotta get some more marrow on me. But, um, but it's an interesting thing to try. You gotta, and, and yeah. it, it's, I don't think I would order it every time. No, and I'm, I'm glad to say that I've tried it. Yes. That I can understand, like... But you're, you're also glad it's behind you. I'm glad it's behind me. Okay. <laughs> so you got the Timeless Elias, which is a Macallan 12-year whiskey. Cognac. A cognac. I'm not going to pronounce... I'm not gonna no, pronounce I'm just going to skip to the last um, word that I can pronounce. And house-made vanilla syrup. Mm -hmm. The drink itself, named after... Walt's middle name, Walter Elias Disney. Also his father's first name. Also his father's first name. So I love the nod to his namesake. I smile and giggle almost because this, I smell this and I'm immediately taken back to every camp out that I've ever been on. It smells like bonfire. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna make a bold statement. You're not going to say it's the best drink on property, are you? It's my favorite drink on property. Right? Wow. We also we also got the Territory Popcorn Sampler, yeah. which is which comes in a variety of flavors, one of which you think we should have said no to. <laughs> Spicy, caramel, About sea salt, one. truffle, mm -hmm. and barbecue flavored. So so Mike was nice enough to bring us a little sample of the s'more old-fashioned. I'm gonna put mine out of foot traffic. Hold on. Elijah Craig 12-year Kentucky straight bourbon, toasted marshmallow, and chocolate bitters. With a little bit of a... That's the toasted marshmallow I guess in there. The smell impressions? Okay. It smells like the best Yankee candle ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah? That's really good. That's really good. That might be better than the other one. I still like this better. I mean, this is super sweet. This is sweet. But it, but not sweet in like a citrusy. Sweet. No. 
But if you if you let it set on the palate, oh my god, the chocolate bitters, the marshmallow, mm -hmm. it's very yeah. round. That's nice. These are both excellent after dinner drinks. You have your drink. That's right. That's nice. That cheers on you. Oh, yeah. Because you had to wait a little bit, they give you a little extra. Okay, that's... That one's our truffle. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. That one's sea salt. Caramel. Warning, warning, this one's very spicy. Oh. Danger, Will Robinson. Very hot pepper. Good to know. In there. And then you got your barbecue. It's going to be a Texas and Carolina barbecue seasoning blend that also is going to have a little kick to it, but not like this. Okay. Thank you. This is sea salt. I feel like this is a control group. This is like your standard salted popcorn. Not getting a lot of salt, personally. Um, I don't think it's plain. I think it's just plain popcorn. This is spicy. That's the spicy one. This is going to be barbecue. Bar barbecue. What's the song from um, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas? Oh, I. I don't remember. Emmett Otter's Jug. No, I've seen it. I've seen it. I just. Don't send me hate mail. I don't remember the barbecue song though. Well, there ain't no hole in the washtub. Hole in the washtub. Is, the the, the, is one of those like. Uh, Tim Henson. No, I know. Oh, uh -huh. that's a little spicy too. Oh, kick. You sure that's not the. No, it is barbecue. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's like Chipotle in there? Yeah, got some. Got some. Caramel? Yeah. Well, all right. We're doing it together. What were you going to do? Oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just want to camp out right there. Mm-hmm. Well, this is the spicy, the control group. quote, danger, danger. <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh huh. But I, I think I got. <laughs> it does come back. For a brief moment, well, I forgot that that wasn't the barbecue, that that was the spicy one, and I got one that was really, really seasoned. You thought it was barbecue? Yeah. It's not. The barbecue's over there. Yeah, I know. Whew. It gets better, though. After it burns the first layer off your tongue, it's <laughs> oh, not as bad after that. The menu has significantly improved. Yeah. I think the diversity has really gone up. Like before, like we were saying, like pretzel and cheese, like it was fondue, very basic charcuterie. The bone and brie, nice touch. It wouldn't be my go-to thing. Uh, the popcorn, I think popcorn I would get every time. Popcorn's fun. Like this is great. Like, okay, super basic, like lounge bar food. Pretzels, peanuts, popcorn. But the fact that they give you five different flavors, that's really great. And there's a lot. So as far as shareable, like come with some friends, grab a couple drinks, sit, order the popcorn. Absolutely. Everybody's gonna find something that they like. Yep, except the truffle. If there's someone in your group who likes the truffle, you just sit them off to the side. Be fun. <laughs> they get their own table. Yeah, the drink upgrades there are stellar. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that's been fantastic. Um, and the, 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 the we forgot about the bacon. We didn't talk about the bacon, the deviled eggs. The bacon was bacon the wire is amazing. Thick bacon. It's not amazing. like flimsy like Denny's bacon. This is come for the bacon. bacon. Enjoy the the drinks. Stay for the popcorn. That's what I said. I am in one hundred percent agreement with you. Cheers. At the core of Here with the Magic is our search for quiet moments of joy in Disney spaces, locations that have inspired attractions, pavilions, and lands featured in Disney parks, and places that simply resonate with the spirit of Disney. When we take the time to step away and pause, it turns out they're pretty easy to find, like this one captured for you at the Swan Hotel. Here, towering palm trees sway in a balmy Florida breeze, and the water ripples in the wake of the friendliest boats in Walt Disney World.
Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. Want more Here With The Magic? I invite you to check out the hundreds of videos that you can find right here on our YouTube channel. I'd also love it if you took a moment to like the video, hit that subscribe button below, and ring the bell so you're notified when new content becomes available. And if you're enjoying the show, please consider sharing it with friends and family who might also enjoy a moment or two away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. For those interested in being immersed in the sounds of our happiest places, check out Soundscapes by Here With The Magic wherever you get your podcasts. You can also join us for community conversation on Facebook and Instagram. Finally, a very special thanks to our cafe members who support Here With The Magic and make so much of this possible through their contributions and sharing. To find out how you can help support the show and to learn about the special benefits of cafe membership, including the ability to participate in the live virtual studio recordings of our weekly show, head over to herewiththemagic.com forward slash support. I hope you have a wonderful week. Please be safe, be well. I'll see you back here next Monday, where we'll be, as always, here with the magic. I knew it. I, I knew it. Tonight, I said, I had a feeling tonight's going to be bloopers night. It's so cold in here. Um, and it's, not, it's not because of the snow. It's because I, my hands are cold. I just touched my belly with my cold hands. And I can't reach it. I'm all tethered. I'm bolted to the seats. How the West was won. Bum, and... bum, 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 yeah, bum, I thought you were really good. Come on. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? I don't make it a mess. Not a drop was spilled, mind you. That's because of my ninja like reflex. And then Sophie wouldn't shut up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get her out of here. Give her a beer you got already. Yeah. <laughs> Any whiskey on the gums or something. Come on. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I'm not going to say that. And then you did, so now I feel better about it. Can we start over? Because I got a shot. There's a shot of me sniffing my fingers to make sure that I got trouble in the world. Okay. <laughs> like, we just start. It's like this cross dissolved me going. <laughs> you happy, Tinseltown? You got your Tinsel, Tinsel Town? That's what my nanny used to call me. Your your nanny called you Tinsel Town? Yeah, she's weird. Oh, 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 sorry. It's okay. just water. Had, it was just water, it's and it had water. very little in it. Custodial and put a wet floor sign on it. I could just slip in my water. And by home, you want me to take this back? Huh? You want me to take this Sure. Back? It's, it's just causing you. trouble. I'm just making a mess. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to. Mm-hmm. I only heard a couple things. Mm. <laughs>